Hi everyone there, this is the first video of the Mechanic of Materials exercises in English. My name is Christian, I'm from Mexico City and I'm gonna be teaching you some lessons of Mechanic of Materials. Well, we're gonna start with this exercise, the number 133 from the Hippler book, and it says, The bar has a cross-sectional area, A, and is subject to the actual load P. Determine the average normal and average shear stresses acting over the shaded section, which is oriented at theta from the horizontal. Plot the variation of these stresses as a function of theta in an interval from 0 to 90 degrees. So, the first thing we're gonna do for this exercise is to draw just the left part of the bar so we have I'm gonna change the color to a black one there's a black one I'm gonna draw the left part of the I'm gonna draw the left part of this bar here is it and here we have a force P applied at this point, a force P, and we have an angle of theta. The first thing we have to do is to decompose that force P into a actual force or a normal force through the oblique end area. This is going to be the oblique area at an angle of theta. and we have an, uh, an actual force or a normal force and we have a shear force so we can decompose this cross section the, sorry that force this is theta so the n force will be p sine theta and the b force or the shear, shear force will be p cosine theta and if we remember the formula for the average normal stress for the average normal stress is p over area and for the shear the average the average shear stress is b over area so we already have this force, this actual force that is N, and we have this actual force that is B. Now we need to have this area. This area we can draw here that I'm gonna draw the right part now of the bar, and we have this, and making this dimension A theta and this dimension the original cross-section area this is the original cross-section area and we have an angle of theta so we can apply a formula that is sine theta equal to the opposite side that is the original cross-section area over the inclined area that is a theta so theta will be theta will be a the original area over sine theta gonna erase this now we have found the forces the component of the force p n and b and we have found the value of area so we can evaluate that so we can evaluate that now so the normal stress in the area theta will be n over area theta or if we see, if we put these values here we're gonna have p sine theta over and this value here 
area C area original over sine theta so the average normal stress in the inclined section will be P sine squared theta over the area the original area this is the original area and we can do the same for the the shear stress the shear stress will be tau sigma equal to b over a theta or v is equal to b cosine theta so b cosine theta over the area zero or the original area over sine theta so the average shear stress in the oblique area will be p cosine theta sine theta over the area the original area now we have the we have determined here this part we have determined the average normal and average shear stresses acting over the shaded section this one and it the problem asks us to plot the variation of these stresses as a function of theta so we're gonna do that plots I'm gonna erase this one I'm gonna erase this part just for a minute and I'm gonna change the color wait a minute please here in the here is it in the original horizontal axis we're gonna put the theta angle from a uh, variation from 0 45 and 90 here the same 0 at 45 and 90 degrees and in the vertical axis I'm gonna put the normal stress and the shear stress and that are gonna be PA P over A at the maximum point a half of the P over A a half of the P over A and zero here zero and zero so we're gonna start with the normal the average normal stress the average number stress if I change the value of theta to zero will be zero if we put I'm gonna put it here sine theta squared over a so the if if we put zero here it will be zero if we put 45 will be a half of the PA and if we put 90 degrees it will be one it will be one so the variation is something like this with the maximum uh, normal stress at 90 degrees this is the maximum point at 90 degrees and what happened to the shear stress the shear stress if we evaluate the zero value here we have zero if we put 45 in this theta we have the half of p a of p over a and if we put 90 degrees we have zero so this is a variation in this form with the maximum value of the shear stress maximum at 45 degrees so the maximum a normal stress is at 90 degrees at this plane with no no angle and the, look here at 90 degrees and the maximum shear stress will be at an oblique plane at 45 degrees well this was the first exercise of the mechanic of material series in English um, 
it's not my native language so I'm practicing I'll be really grateful with you if you comment what can I improve to make these videos better thank you so much for watching and see you soon thank you